and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva. I make content all about sustainable, simple living from the perspective of environmental science student, ethical vegan and activist. So I put on my YouTube community thing um, a poll about what kind of videos you'd like to see and a lot of you voted for more whole foods vegan food content. I thought I'd make this kind of like a food vlog and yeah, kind of show you why I eat and how I make it. So I'm gonna get my apron on. I have all my food laid out. And then I'll just kind of show you how I make this pad thai. So yeah, always wear an apron because I always, when I'm cooking and even when I'm eating, get food all over me. And this apron is unbelievably dirty. I have some hispy cabbage that's going off, as you can see, and some cauliflower that's also going off. So I need to eat these both today, really. So I'm going to make dinner with this as well. For this recipe, you want about four to five cups of veggies for two people. And you want to pop them in a frying pan with a little bit of oil and just let them soften. You want to save all your veggie scraps as well. Um, oh, God, this one's hard. <laughs> because it makes really good veggie stock. I haven't bought stock in about three years. So, yeah. I used about a third of the cauliflower and just let it soften in the pan. Um, I'm going to put my noodles on. Um, I get like thick wheat noodles from my local package free shop. They're really good. Because they're wheat noodles, they take about 10 minutes, so yeah. I think I'm going to use a leftover hot water to make myself a cup of tea. I'm feeling like women's tea. When the veggies have almost softened and the noodles are almost done, I add my cabbage. So for dinner, I need stock, so I'm gonna make some stock now. I have shared this before, but I'll share it again. I make my stock in my Instant Pot, and I freeze all my veggie scrap, and then I have all this stuff over here. So just cover the veggies with cold water. Cook it on high pressure for an hour and 15 minutes, but if you don't have an Instant Pot or a pressure cooker, you can just cook it on the hob. Just bring it to boil, let it simmer for about two hours, and you're done. Now for the sauce, you want one tablespoon of tahini, four tablespoons of soy sauce. This recipe does ask for more, but my soy sauce is really strong, so I don't put as much in. And then I add a generous amount of chili flakes and some coriander. And then I top it up with some water since I'm not using as much soy sauce. I juice one lemon to put on top and then I add my sauce to my strained, drained, whatever, noodles and then my veggies. And I just mix it all together in the pan and serve it up. I like to add some mixies to the top of my pad thai as well, just for a tiny bit of extra nutrition. And yeah, see you at dinner time. So it's about 5 p.m., it's getting dark. And the recipe that I'm making tonight is cauliflower and chickpea curry. So I need chickpeas, but I buy all of my chickpeas dried. So that means I need to cook them because I always forget to soak them. I'm gonna do two cups. This is my little plastic pot. I just use to measure everything. Well, apparently I don't have two cups. I've only got one and a half, so either way. So now I'm just gonna put the instant pot on for about 50 minutes and let that do its thing and we eat quite late anyway, so. My favorite snack, apple and smooth peanut butter. For the chickpea and cauliflower curry, I just stick half a large onion or one small onion, two cloves of garlic and the rest of the cauliflower in a pan with a little bit of oil and let it soften for a little while. My chickpeas are also cooked, so I'm just going to scoop out a cup and a half and pop them in with everything else. Now we've added the chickpeas, we want to put our spices in. So you want half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ginger, two and a half teaspoons of curry powder and then one teaspoon of coriander. Mix it all together and then just add it to your pot and again, let them soften for a few minutes with that. Then you wanna add three quarters of a cup of stock and then half a can of coconut milk. This recipe, I'm halving it, so I'll put the full recipe down below. Mix it all together and let it simmer for about 15 minutes or while you cook your rice. Um, this is my rice jar. Um, I wasn't thinking and my partner told me that the bag I was holding had rice but it had brown sugar in. So now I have this rice sugar mixture and um, we don't have to separate it. So that's funny. Rice is actually in here. One and a half cups of water for one cup of rice. So yeah. And they cook for 12 minutes. <laughs> 
when you've got about two minutes left of your rice and your curry, just pop your kale or spinach in the pot. Oh, ain't that yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. when everything's done just serve it all up and this recipe also freezes really really well so if you have any leftovers definitely consider freezing it for a rainy day good morning i'm gonna make my morning smoothie and that is just a green smoothie so yeah i'll show you how i make that now for this recipe you want 80 grams of oats with one teaspoon of chia and one teaspoon of flax add half an apple one whole banana two handfuls of frozen kale or fresh kale, and then the juice of half a lemon and about a tablespoon of sugar. You can use syrup, but I didn't have any. And also vegan honey is a great thing to put in here too. Then you wanna fill the blender jug up with water. This makes about 800 ml, so about 800 ml of water, and then just blend it. And don't forget to save your banana peels to make banana tea for your plants. This is my own recipe and I'll leave it linked down below. So definitely tag me if you try it and let me know if you enjoy it as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the recipes I shared with you. Um, let, me let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and if you like this kind of vlog style recipe kind of video. I'll probably do like three recipes each time so the videos don't get too long. But yes, yeah, so if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. I love my little growing community. It's so lovely. Um, have a beautiful day. Stay kind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.